Hello, happy be here. In my previous video, I was showing you how to set a nickname for a player in our multiplayer game. You can set a crazy man nickname, then join the game, and we are here playing as crazy man. Now, in the video, I'm going to show you how to create avatar avatar option so we can choose which avatar are we going to use in our multiplayer game so I will edit this panel let me rename it come and play I will add two buttons here UI place it here Half. this one for a cube avatar I will make two option cube or sphere so this one for cube one for sphere. sphere and I'm going to edit I will create a cube I set the position 000 xyz and I will Rename it cube avatar cube. I place it here and then I'm going to create another one sphere. I name it avatar sphere. Place it here. Delete them. Then I need to edit my player prefab. We don't need this cube, so we delete this cube, mesh renderer, and box collider. We will spawn the character or avatar object here inside this player object later. Mm. Simple player movement. <coughs> the next thing is to create uh, let's work with the UI first this button cube or sphere I'm going to add a text here choose your avatar I'm going to place it here. Okay. Let's edit the UI script. The launcher script is here. Let me edit it. I'm going to create a public function public void set avatar. We have avatar cube and avatar sphere. So here I will use one parameter string avatar name and then uh, 
let me create a public string variable first choose an avatar this choose an avatar I will use this variable here when we join the game I will set the nickname as player nickname dot text plus I will add this symbol as the separator then choose an avatar then we set the value choose an avatar with the value of avatar name when the set avatar is being called so by default let me set the value of choose an avatar to be avatar cube okay and we are going to call this function when the avatar button is clicked this is avatar button simple launcher set avatar here I will set the value to avatar cube then this one should be the set avatar avatar sphere okay basically I'm playing around with this nickname for the network dot nickname I'm going to use it to store the value of chosen avatar inside this variable so not only nickname it will contain the avatar name but we will separate the value with this symbol then I will show you what you can do next what I'm going to do next is to test the game I'm going to choose set nickname <coughs> I set the sphere as my avatar and then I click connect and play and here is my character my nickname is bb dash avatar sphere sphere it has because the text is too long you see the E is missing okay the next thing that I'm going to do is to edit the simple show player nickname script this show player nickname script I'm going to split the value of this nickname by symbol split split it by the dash symbol and, go, and I'm going to use the zero index which is the first part of the string separated by this symbol so I should not show the avatar name as the user nickname I'm going to try to play it again the cube as the avatar connect and play now my nickname is hoo hoo and I have the value of avatar name later here I'm going to create another script let me check my player prefab I have this script simple player movement I will edit the script and I'm going to spawn the chosen character here at the start so I will call instantiate uh, 
I'm going to show you um, a script. I will show you. The, no. I will show you this blog post. Useful. Check out this blog post. If you want to if you want to instantiate an object and you want to access it just let me do it okay. I'm going to copy this object okay I'm going to copy this line because I cannot remember all the code so I need to store it in my website and I take a look and copy and paste it again to reuse the code so here I'm going to create game object I will call it choose an avatar then here we are going to instantiate an object inside resources folder with the name what is the name of the avatar the name is this one photon view dot owner dot nickname Split. now this one should be index number one the number zero is the nickname itself the number one is the avatar name so it will load the object with this name so after instantiating the game object which is the chosen avatar I'm going to set its parent set set parent transform position let me check go back to unity to check is everything correct ok I've got an error set parent uh, ok choose an avatar dot transform dot set parent ok can convert the property to in okay I don't need this position set parent transform transform is the parent transform which is which is this player object transform now I got no error let's try to run the game I will set my nickname as I'm a circle. No, not circle. I'm a sphere. Click sphere as the avatar connect and play. Okay, we got an error here. The object you want to instantiate is now. Okay. Uh, what is it? Line 15. Okay, let me debug it. Debug log. My chosen avatar is. I'm going to show the value of this variable. What is it? To make sure that I'm calling the right uh, nickname avatar name Maybe sphere connect and connect and play okay my chosen avatar is avatar sphere yeah it is wrong typo so here I will go check this button sphere without ear sphere okay now everything should be fine now I will try it again the real sphere click sphere as avatar connect and play now I am the real sphere what if 
I choose a cube as my avatar. Yeah. I am cube. Cube, connect and play. Alright, let me to complete this video. I'm going to publish it as a Windows game and I will try to run multiple instances of it so you can see how are they working this is the first player and the second player this one will be I'm a sphere I choose a sphere I'm I'm cube choose cube connect and play now I can move it this way now the cube is moving all right that's all for this video guys thank you for watching and check out the link of the playlist in the description of this video if you want to check out my previous videos you can check out the playlist below so you can watch my previous videos about it and my next videos also thanks bye bye see you next time